All right. Have you ever had a moment where the second you said something, you went, that is definitely wrong. Oh yeah. So like, <laughs> there is one when I first started, this is like this forever ago. Like we were doing a, um, an NXT live event, and I think like Tom Phillips was there. Um, cause I was training in whatever. And it was back when, um, Buddy Murphy and Wesley Blake were just, uh, Blake and Murphy. Mm -hmm. And then Alexa was with them. And I think they were, they used to be tag team champions at that time for NXT. And they, they had just split and they just, we just given them like Buddy Murphy and Blake, uh, Wesley Blake. So I'm so used to saying Blake and Murphy at this point. Cause I've been doing it for so long. And he comes in the ring, and I think I said, I think I called him Blake Murphy or something like that. <laughs> and I, and he just looks at me, and I go, "Oh no!" <laughs> and he cuts a promo on me, and you know, we do the whole thing, and then I felt so shitty about it that I bought him whiskey and brought it the next day because I think we were in like some other town, and I like drove up, and I'm like, "Bro." My bad. And he's, he wasn't like, he wasn't mad about it. Like it was whatever. I apologize. And he was really cool and very good sport about it. But I was like, dude, please take the whiskey. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I felt bad. I'm like, I, I got one job here. Uh, there's been a couple times on even raw where like we go, you know, we go segment to segment. And sometimes we haven't known what's coming next or something changed in the back and the information didn't make it out to us. Mm. So there was one time where the Iconics were coming out. And on my sheet, it said one of them was working, but then they changed it and then the other one was working. And no one told you. So I said, I think I said, I thought it was supposed to be Peyton Roy. So I'm like, better wait to the ring. Peyton, Billy Kay. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it came out. But it's just like, it's one of those things where like, sometimes you just don't have all the information. Yeah. And I can't see the ramp. So from where I'm sitting, I can't see who's coming out. So we just recently, within the last couple of years, got a monitor there to where I can see. But if they don't oh. take a camera shot, yeah. I can't see who's coming out. So there are times where people come out with other people or they accompany them and they're not written in the sheet. I don't know they're there. Mm. So if, if somebody comes out and they don't get announced, it's because I didn't know they were coming out. Have there, has there <clears> ever <throat> been a situation where there's a big return, a big moment, and you know they're keeping it a secret so even you don't know about it? Their music hits or they come out and you go, Oh, wow. Hmm. Man, it's been a long time. I'd have to really put some thought into that. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure there has been. Uh, I, I think I wasn't, when the big returns were happening, I wasn't ring announcing. So like when Undertaker came back, um, I was kind of like just chilling out backstage. And um, one of, one of um, Scott Acock, one of the security guards, was like, hey, you should come out here. I was like, oh crap, what do I do? He's like, stand right here. And this is back when the desk was on the left side of the stage. Um, oh, yeah. So I was kind of just standing there and we were in New Orleans. I'll never forget this. And McFoley and Stephanie McMahon was giving McFoley the business in the middle of the ring, just about how bad of a GM he is and how worthless, whatever. And I'm like, why am I standing out here? And then all of a sudden you just hear bong. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> And I'm right there. The pyro starts going, like the oh, fire, the yeah. flames, and like the smoke starts bellowing. And I'm just like, this is so freaking cool. And I remember sitting on that side of the stage. And so it was the one time I visibly remember like kind of fangirling. I was just sitting there because I've never, I had never seen his entrance live. Mm. I'd never seen it live like that. Um, so I was just kind of sitting there and I watched that happen. And that was one, of, I had no idea he was going to be there. Wow. And a lot of times for most of that stuff, you know, it's better that we don't know those things. Yeah. Um, obviously you kind of have to be prepared for whatever's going to happen. You got to know stuff. Um, sometimes you, you, you if the storyline goes, you can kind of figure out where it's going to go. But other than that, we just got to prepare wow. ourselves and be ready for whatever's going to happen.